Hello and welcome to this Future Plus video about our new LPDDR5 CAM2 Interposer. CAM, which stands for Compression Attached Memory Module, and CAM2, which is the JEDEX standard for this new technology. CAM2 comes in two different variants. It comes in a DDR5 variant and an LPDDR5 variant. The new Future Plus Interposer is exclusively for the LPDDR5 variant. We will only be talking about LPDDR5 moving forward in this video. LPDDR5 CAM2 has some significant advantages over LPDDR5 embedded memory. Embedded memory is soldered down directly to the motherboard. LPDDR5 CAM2 is held down with screws. That means memory can be upgraded and it can be repaired. And in addition, LPDDR5 CAM2 uses less power than a SODIM. CAM was invented by Dell and subsequently called CAM2 by JEDEC. Since that time, many manufacturers have announced and have available LPDDR5 CAM2 modules. Vendors include Samsung, Micron, and others. CAM2 modules come with different size DRAMs and modules with various capacities. This is a JEDEX slide that is in the public domain showing some vendors in LPDDR CAM2 variants. So let's now talk about our LPDDR5 CAM2 interposer, the FS2910. The FS2910 is designed to work with the Keysight U4164 logic analyzer. The interposer plugs directly into the logic analyzer for very quick and easy connection. The interposer also has embedded tip resistors for optimum high frequency probing. The system yields complete and accurate state analysis on the CA bus up to the max LPDDR5 CAM2 speed of 8,533 megatransfers per second. We can analyze multiple CA buses by connecting to individual U4164A cards. The system is designed to be compatible with the LPDDR5 CAM2 JEDEC specification. The system captures and decodes all of the commands on each of the CA buses. The system utilizes the Keysight iScan analysis software with all of its capabilities and also 5 gigahertz timing analysis is available on the CA bus. This is a photo of the Keysight U4164A logic analyzer with four modules. It is attached to a slot interposer making DDR4 measurements. We are now ready to start looking at the FS2910 LPDDR5 CAM2 interposer itself. This is a block diagram of the interposer makeup. On the very bottom is the motherboard PCB labeled MBPCB. Contacting the motherboard is the signal pass-through connector. The connector, modified by Future Plus, passes all signals to the interposer. The interposer probes the command and address signals, routes them to the cables, and then on to the logic analyzer. The interposer passes all signals to a second modified signal pass-through connector and then on to the CAM2 module. The previous block diagram level description was not drawn to scale. This is a 3D mechanical model showing the stack up exactly to scale. The height of the pass-through boards were very carefully analyzed to ensure the cables and connections have adequate room both mechanically and electrically. This is a drawing of the signal pass-through connector showing all 368 signals. 
This is a depiction of the signal pass-through connector with all signals labeled. This shows the left half of the connector. The, th the signals shown with the solid border are the command and address signals. The command and address signals are probed and routed to the logic analyzer. Similarly, this is the right half of the pass-through connector. The signals with the solid border are command and address signals probed and routed to the logic analyzer. Okay, now that we understand all of the signals involved, this is another depiction of the stack up starting at the motherboard. Just as a note, JEDEX specifies a stiffener plate on the back side of the motherboard. It is shown here as well. Above the motherboard, the next three levels are the pass-through connectors and the interposer in between. The interposer comes complete with the modified pass-through connectors and the interposer with cables permanently attached on the interposer end and logic analyzer connectors on the other end. For reference, the pass-through connectors are each 2.85 millimeters in height. We worked very hard to minimize the keep-out area below the cable connections. A drawing of the keep-out area is available upon request. This is our latest data sheet for the Future Plus LP DDR5 CAM2 interposer. As you can see, all of the salient features of the product are listed on the data sheet. We've included the LPDDR5 signal pinout with labels. The interposer module size and some screen captures are in the data sheet as well. On the last page, you'll find some Keysight part numbers as well as Future Plus part numbers related to this product. Thank you for watching our video. This video was produced by Future Plus Systems, a Keysight solution partner. Any JEDEC information contained in this video is available in the public domain. Please contact us at Future Plus Systems if you would like any additional information or would like to set up a conference call with our sales team. Thank you again.